Hello, today I want to show you how to make a calendar mini. So what I mean by that is the little miniature calendars that you see like over here at the bottom of a monthly calendar uh, that shows you the previous month and the month following. You can also find those laid out on a page either in portrait or landscape view, um, kind of like a calendar at a glance. This might be at the beginning or end of a calendar or it might be also at the beginning or end of a planner. And you can also find these on weekly spreads in a planner uh, where people will put just a little mini of the whole month in the corner of the weekly spread. So let's take a look at how you can do this. And what I'm going to show you is a way in Affinity Publisher that you can set up a file for yourself that you can use perpetually any year. Now, is it going to be push button fast? No. But once you have it set up, it actually will not take you that long at all to generate these minis for for a whole year um, each year that you release your new planners. So let's get started. All right, so this is going to be kind of a unique document size for publisher because it's going to be actually pretty small. If you think of arranging 12 of these in landscape mode, that's about the widest it's going to be. So you're going to have maybe four across in an 11 inch space or so. So three inches is about as wide as you're going to need. So I'm going to do um, a document and this is a little bit of trial and error, but about three inches by 2.5 inches. And uh, let's go with that 300 DPI. Um, you can do it in inches or pixels. If you did it in pixels, it would be um, 900 pixels by 750. I'm just going to stick to inches. I'm going to unclick facing pages because I want single pages in my document and CMYK versus RGB doesn't really matter. That's up to you. Also transparent background. Um, we can always add this later. Um, I'm just going to leave it unchecked for now. I don't really need any margins and I also don't need bleed. I have these linked here, so I'm just going to zero one out and it's going to zero all of them and create. All right, so now we have our document, but I'm actually going to create these on masters. So if we think about it, there's seven days of the week. So there's only seven of these that we need to make because the first of the month can only fall on one of any of the seven days. So once we've got a calendar made with the first falling on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc., that's all we need. Also, there's a maximum of 31 days in a month. So if we make all of them with 31 days, when we go to actually build our calendar for any given year, it's just a matter of deleting a couple numbers here and there. So I'm going to build seven of these, each starting on a different day of the week and each having 31 days. So let's create a master. And I'm just going to label this with whatever day the first is going to be on. So let's start with Sunday and say, okay. And now the reason I'm using publisher for this and not designer is because we can use the table tool and it's going to make it really fast and easy versus trying to align everything like we would have to do in designer. So I'm going to just click on the table tool and drag out a table. And let's adjust the rows. So I'm going to click on these bottom arrows and that brings this little box up. I'm going to need my top row to have the days of the week. So the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm going to need six rows under that because that's the most weeks uh, or partial weeks that you can have in a month. So I'm going to do a seven, seven rows total. And then I also need to have click on this seven days of the week. So seven columns. So there we have that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just using my mouse, hold the left button and click and drag over all of it. And then I am going to go to my table options, which is up here in the right corner. And I'm going to get rid of this outside fill that it defaults to. That'll get rid of my outer border. Down here on the all vertical lines, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to get rid of the black, change it to nothing. 
And just for good measure, I'm going to completely obliterate the stroke as well. Then I'm going to go to all the horizontals and do the same thing. Get rid of the color, get rid of the stroke. And now it looks like we've got nothing, but when you click here, our table is still here. The other thing that I want to do, and actually we can just get rid of this, we don't need it anymore, is I want to change the alignment of the cells. So I've got all of them highlighted again, and up in the alignment here, I'm going to align to the center, and also in the one right next to it, I'm going to center vertically. And what that's going to do is it's going to put whatever I type in these cells exactly in the middle of the box, both horizontally and vertically. So now with the table tool still selected, I can put my cursor in the box and let's drop in our days of the week. Now what day you start your calendar on is going to depend where in the world you are. I know some calendars um, start with Monday at the, at the, as the first letter. Um, here in North America, they tend to start on Sunday and end on Saturday. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for this, but uh, it's up to you how you decide to lay that out. So this is our Sunday Start Master. So I'm just going to type one, tab, two, tab, three, tab, and just go through really quickly here. Oops, I'll do that. Okay. So here's our first one. And the other thing I'm going to do is let's just drag this down to roughly here. And let's put a text box here. And I'm going to put a placeholder here that just says month. And so we'll be able to type in the month that this applies to. I'm also going to, with the move tool on, drag a guide out and line it up. So I'm looking at the 22 and 29 and I'm just going to the left of those numbers and now I can grab this text box and just line it up. And let's move it a little closer like that. Now back to the table tool. If you wanted to change how close these numbers are together you can do that here. I think something like that looks okay. And now that I've moved it, I'm going to have to line it up with my guide again. Okay. So now that we've got this, I just want to tweak my document. I just want to tweak this a little bit more. So I'm going to get my month out of the year, out of the, out of the year, out of the way. Table tool grab one of the corners this time so that I'm proportionately scaling this because I do want it to be big enough that I don't ever have to scale it up. I want to only be able to scale it down. And when I drag from the corner, I'm going to be dragging it proportionately. So the whole table is going to get bigger. It's not just going to squish. Oops. It's not just going to squish everything horizontally like that or squish everything vertically. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that size. Remember we've got three by two and a half inches. We could actually even go just a wee bit bigger. And I'm going to put it there, leave a bit of a border everywhere because let's turn snapping on. Get that nice and centered. And then let's move, move our month back into place here. Okay, so there is my Sunday start. And let's go ahead then and duplicate this. So I'm going to make this my Monday start. I'm gonna double click on the label change it to Monday and I'm going to pause the video and do that uh, five more times so that I've got one for every day of the week. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now that I've duplicated this, um, 
for every day of the week is I'm going to go into this next master Monday and I'm going to go to the table tool and I'm going to delete all these numbers. Unfortunately, there's not any good way that I'm aware of to just get, uh, move them all over. So we're just going to delete and it honestly doesn't take that long. So Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and do the same thing for my other days of the week and then we will show how we can build this for any given year. Alright, so now I have my seven master pages, uh, one for each uh, day of the month being the first. And uh, it probably took me five or six minutes to uh, just adjust all the numbers on these. So it really doesn't take that long. So now let's go ahead and build our calendars for 2021. So I'm going to go now to the pages window and highlight the first page. And let's just uh, let's go ahead to our calendar. And the first of January is on a Friday and it's got 31 days. So I'm going to right click on this and apply master and I want a Friday start for just the specified page and say OK. And so now I can double click on this and this is my January page. So I'm going to go to the text box, edit this to say January and you can change the font, the font size, whatever you want to do to this, that's not a problem. You could go through and, you know, make all of this bold if you wanted to. Um, lots of different editing things you can do. So we've got 31 days in January, so that one is done. Okay, so we've got January done. February starts on the 1st, on a Monday and has 28 days. So let's go ahead and add a page with this little icon over here. I want to add one page after the first page. I want it to be my Monday start spread and say OK. And then I can go with my text tool over here. Change this to February. And then I need to get rid of these. Now, when you're in pages, it doesn't want to let you bulk delete like we could when we were in the masters. So I'm just going to do one by one. It's only a couple things to delete anyways. And there's February. So let's go ahead and add another page after page two and March. Starts also on a Monday and has 31 days. So we need a Monday start. Okay. Here's my Monday. Click on that. March. Starts on Monday, has 31 days. That one's done. Add another page. And April will start on, well, I guess we can tell April starts on a Thursday. And we know it's one of the 30 days. But to confirm, yes, starts on a Thursday, 30 days. So let's do a Thursday start. And we will just get rid of the number 31 here. April and that one's done. So I can just go through the whole rest of the year and build out my 12 pages of calendars for 2021. When I am done, I can go to file and export. You have two different options here. You can do all pages. I'm going to do this as a JPEG, a high quality. Um, so you can do all pages and it's going to take whatever file name you make and just add a number to it. So let's go ahead and do that. That's pretty fast and easy. So I'm going to, let's call this mini calendar and I'm going to do 2021 and just that. 
and we will save and it will export them as individual JPEGs for me. And so then let's go and look at them. While that takes a moment, I'm just going to show you the other way that we can do it. So you can also go File, Export, and do Current Page. And that will just do the page you are on, April. And what that allows you to do then is to just name them as you go along. So um, if you um, wanted to name them, say, April, May, June, etc., then you could go ahead and you could... Um, you could uh, name them one by one. So here's our file. So you can see we've got mini calendar 2021 one, two, three, and four. So um, I'm okay with leaving it like this because I know January's the first month, February is the second month, March is the third month. So I'm okay with that naming convention. But if you wanted to name them something different, um, then you could go ahead and just do them one by one. Or once they're all exported, you could just right click on each of them and rename them. So here's what we end up with. These are our little minis and you can, oops, that was from a previous test. Um, so you can go ahead and use those in your planners, in your calendars. And the really nice thing is once you've got these master pages set up, you can just go back, delete all of these pages that you created, and you can just uh, start again in 2022 and create a whole new set of minis. So I would say all in all, um, you know, this video is about 17 minutes. I paused it a couple times. I would say all in all, it would take you less than 15 to 20 minutes to set up the master file. And then each time you want to go make your calendars, I would say maybe 10 to 15 minutes to set up your calendars. So 30 minutes, maybe the first time, and then 15 minutes every year thereafter. So this is a great tool to have in your arsenal and you can do it all in affinity publishing. And it makes it really easy to make them nice and lined up when you use the table tool. Thanks for watching.